31. Woo! Yeah, there we go. See you. You know what's up. I just turned 31 and I just realized like, like turning 31, you, you start to like think of different fears and stuff. Like, like things you, like you get scared of. Like when I was 18, like my biggest fear was like what college I'm gonna go to or like, where's the next party at? You know, 21, just like, ugh, hope I don't, you know, get too drunk and like, you know, crash or like, I joined the military, so like another big fear was like going to Afghanistan and getting raped. Um, it's okay. Um, but like you know, thirty, like the biggest fear was just like, oh, okay, like you know, I check off the box, and me and my wife are like, you know, I'm scared that she's like, you know, her getting pregnant, but not not the whole pregnancy thing. It's just like, you know, we've been together so long, and um, her getting pregnant, and then like you know, her dying during childbirth, like, and then I'm forced to raise a murderer. <laughs> I don't want to raise a murderer. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of murderers, do you guys think Casey Anthony, like, celebrates Mother's Day? <laughs> like, you know, like, once a mother, like, always a mother? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, let's go on. So, anyways, took a test. The results are in. I am a Ravenclaw. <laughs> See? So I thought that was like a false positive, so I like created a fake email and took the test again. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so upset. But yeah, I started reading like Harry Potter, I'm like on the second book. And like, it's pretty good so far. And I realized one thing, it's like Harry Potter fans like love Harry Potter. Like they, they do, like, and if it comes to hanging out with, like, Harry Potter fans, or Christians, I'd rather hang out with Christians, because, like, there's only two books, like, or technically one book that you have to know, and it's okay, but, like, with Harry Potter, like, I've never have to defend it, like, my Harry Potter knowledge the way, like, a, like, any nerd would, it's like, who's your favorite character, what book do you like, what's your favorite quote, I'm just like, I, I don't know, like, I just started, like, pussy, <laughs> All right, like, Christians don't, like, cut, like, I don't carry a Bible around at Starbucks, and I'll have some, like, dude coming up to me, like, what's your favorite Psalms, what's the first commandment, and who's your favorite character? Like, it's, I don't know, like, ah! That's it. <laughs> but, um, realize that, okay, I work a lot of weird jobs. My weirdest job was, like, I worked at a funeral home, and people, like, didn't believe me at all. They'd be, like, Hey man, can you come like, like it's Friday night, like come hang out. I'm like, nah, it's okay, like I'm working at a funeral home. Like dude, if you don't want to hang out, like just don't hang out. I'm like no, like seriously. But like, the one thing I did learn where you, like you should not try comedy at a funeral home. It, is, it does not work, because like they would come out and I would just be like, so what's the vibe like in there? It seems pretty dead. And the lady's like, that was my son. I was like, okay. <laughs> Here's your car, you can leave now. Like, I was a valet, so that's, that's the even weirder part. Like, tell people you're a valet, they're like, hmm, okay. But anyways, I digress. So, um, I realized like, I'm still really bad at taking advice, like super bad. In the sense of like, with my iPhones, like my, like my friend, and you know how like, when it gets to like 20%, like iPhone's like, hey man, you should really go charge me. And you're like, fuck you, never tell me the odds. We're gonna text, we're gonna do some YouTube, we're gonna watch some Netflix, we're gonna Insta post, and then like, then the 10 seconds comes on, like the 10% left, and you just basically, fuck you iPhone, like, we're gonna ride this through, let's go. And that 10%, you should really look for the cord, but like, you never do, you just kinda, just whatever. And then 2% comes, and then when the phone dies, that's when anxiety kicks in, and I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? Even though at 2%, like, I should have got up, and that's just laziness. Anyways, so, I'm gonna leave you with this. This is my impression of a girl who doesn't know the meaning of queso and how to use it. Queso, bye! <laughs>